form has been all over the place. We're playing Ren at home and we need one more win to finish off the FM23 beta. Hi guys, welcome back. So yeah, form has been all over the place. We lost to Strasbourg in a game where Jonathan David scored a lovely goal, but Kevin Gamero rolled back the clock to his old uh, Lorient days and scored two goals. The second one an absolute screamer. We beat Monaco, which was lovely, and then lost to Leon. The first goal, shocking defending. They're all shocking defending, and it pretty much sums up what this beta looks like. Now we're going to take on Ren. We're at home. We've got a couple of changes. The Grover's in. David's back. Cabela at the SS being our best player. Let's get into the match. Here we go. I feel as if I've made changes to the midfield again. I've gone for two DMs, one on defend, one on support. So that seems to be what the match engine's kind of favouring. We're sticking with inside forwards. I feel like I've got pretty much every option ticked to be more expressive. Pass the ball into space, all these things. It just seems to, it seems to work. Uh, I have done an offline save with Boulogne in the third division of France and got sacked. And our XG, uh, the XG points had us in ninth and we were second bottom of the league. <laughs> yeah, so that, that doesn't help the... And I wanted to chat about the match engine is I like that it's random. I like that weird things happen like the shit defending or a bad pass, but it seems too random. And we'll see if we see anything today of that. Here's Zadadka looking for someone, something from the inside forwards. I've seen other tests, people getting a lot from them. I've really struggled with the way guys really struggled with them. Hopefully the DMs protect that defense or just do this and that's the kind of shit that i'm talking about it's maybe it's fine down in the third tier of france but i think at league on level so it's a long ball like are you telling me a top level a top division defender just watches the ball does he even move towards it and then afterwards, it's a scramble, and Callum Wendo is a great player, gets the goal. But that's broken. That's not right. And I think this is the biggest problem, is defenders just don't seem to react to the ball whatsoever. I don't think it's a concentration attribute. I don't think it's decisions or positioning around for that. I think there's something fundamentally broken. Ishmaelie with a free kick. Gets it away. A Jork. I think it's a Jork. The bigger ex Transborg forward. You can be a beast in this game with the right people around him. Here's Jonathan Bamba out wide on the left. Can he pick his man out? Is it Grover? And what I will say, what I do really, really like is the people in the final third picking passes. I've seen balls getting squared. I've seen teams rip us apart on the counter. All that is great. Like Bamba picks out Zagrova. Not sure why I had to use the outside of his foot, but we'll take it. And we get a goal back. But there, we should be 1-0 up. Because that first goal shouldn't have happened. I love what I've done with the match engine. To, to uh, change things up. And you don't know what's happening. It's not as predictable as, as it definitely became. You could kind of sense. Oh god, we've got a, a throw in. So we're going to gonna score here. Ishmaelie. And he probably, he probably should have squared that back. And what I will say. I think shooting from the player's point of view. A lot of shots off target. A lot of shots off target. I think we're on nine already. Nine shots, one on target. Whereas the AI pings them from all places and they go in. Here we go, corner from Cabela. I'm, I'm enjoying it as just like a fun random thing to do. But I think if you're trying to make content, you're doing like a... Oh, it's a groove at the back post, lovely header. You're doing like a top to bottom save and you're just going to get sacked because... The players are rubbish. That doesn't blend well with the match engine being random. Like some of the goals at Boulogne were just atrocious. Uh, Zorkovsky to Benjamin Andre. That's a lovely back post ball. I'm glad that the IF's doing something. They seem to be the way to go. Uh, I tried to play a 4-4-2 at Boulogne with wingers and they didn't really do anything. So maybe the IF, that's how to do it. Maybe with a deep line playmaker or a playmaker to get the crosses in. Yeah, we got caught out of fullback a lot, which I've seen happen in his Leo save as well. 
You let, let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of the beta. Have you enjoyed it? Are you looking forward to the full game? Are you confident? Oh, David, if I... Oh, that would have been lovely. Let's see that again. Cabela to David. That's a lovely touch in the match engine. Oh, it just goes inches wide. Half time, two goals from Zagrova, minute 2 1. Like, that's the only chance they've had is a shitty bit of defending. And it's I don't think it's the game. I think that's something broken within. I keep saying it, sorry. But if you're trying to play down the lower levels, I get there's going to be more randomness. And I like it. There was a passage I had where there was like five headers in a row. And that's very like non league esque. But if the defending is also worse because of the game, it just exacerbates it. It makes it very difficult to to look at patterns and look at how to fix things that like I kept getting caught in behind. Here's Bamba, what's he going to do? Pick someone out? Maybe not the best pass. I kept getting caught down from the left back because I made him like full back support. I tucked him in, uh, changed sort of roles around that side and it seemed to kind of work. But then you just concede silly goals. Like There's nothing wrong with that. That's a perfectly legit goal. No issue there whatsoever. Apart from the goal itself. I mean, Guri, Camaldine. Still not a fan of that little turn. Oh, it had to be Zeka, the former Leo midfielder, get this left foot across. I mean, Guri. I'm quite liking headers. I've seen a couple of good headers. Definitely, look, the animations look better. There's, there's some really, really good things, and there's a lot of crap as well. Ishmaelay, David, go. Seen a lot of that. A lot of that. If you can get to the byline. And I think it happens more right now with wing backs rather than the, the wingers themselves. So maybe get your wide men tucked in. And get your full backs to bomb on like Ishmael has here. That's something to look at. Gareth, if you're watching, I think that's going to be a big, big factor in this match engine unless they completely blow up when it comes to November the 8th. And that's going to be fun to try and figure out as well. I think that's what makes it frustrating. So they've done so many nice things to make the game. Like some of the dribble and uh, animations. Bamba, Cabela, should have been, should have been four. And look at that, we've had 20 shots. And we're still not dominating as much as we could have. This formation's looking all right, though. There's Jonas Maltan cross to the back post. No one's there. Cabela gets it. What's he going to do? They never go in. They those little turns on the edge of the box. Always over the bar. Every single time. Wait, how is this game close? Cabela with a free kick. Remy Cabela, seventh goal of the season. Lovely. He scored a lot of free kicks, hasn't he? Yeah, those little moves where the your skill players get the ball edge of the box, they turn and they shoot with their good foot usually, never go in. And we've got an XG of 3.33, and until that goal, we were struggling. Flavie and Tate, edge of the box. The two DMs seem to work. You don't really see much of them in this sort of attacking final third, we need to look at that. Jonathan David, oh, I thought he was going to win that and bring it down. But they seem to shore up that defence, having two of them. He says that and it's going to be something bad's going to happen. Like, I don't mind that as always, ball. Are they going to score here? Guri, Chevalier with a save. We're going keeps. I wonder what, what you guys think of the beta. Have you enjoyed it? Are you enjoying the randomness? Is it too random? Could they just tone it down a little bit? The sackings need to be toned down. God, the amount of tests I'm trying to do with formations and you're getting sacked because PSG have beaten you in the last 16 of the Champions League. Like, what the... I think I did a test of PSG. We were 25 points clear. Should have been a goal. And got sacked because they got knocked out of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Like, what? come on. And I think part of it is the... Maybe they, I think they have meetings... If you don't go to the meeting, you get sacked. And if you're doing a sim, you've not turned up to the meeting. So it's kind of instant. If you played through, maybe you get to talk to them. But if you're doing tests and stuff, and I know SI have no obligation to make it easier for us to do tests. But surely at this point, they know it's part of the game. They must know it's part of the game. So you kind of have to adapt it a little bit. You must know how people play this game. People like to test things. Goodmanson, a Grover hat trick. Again. Goodmanson, left back, down the wing, gets to the byline, crosses it in, goal. Anyone else crosses it, doesn't seem to go in. Good run by Jonathan David down the channel, Jonas Martin, and there's Goodmanson bursts into the box. And it's a goal every time. And that's a nice way to finish off the beta save, isn't it? A 5 2 win 
overran. Tactic looking great. We'll be saving this. Maybe run a test on this, see how it gets on. That's a great result. There we go, 14 games, fourth, probably the fight for third would be on if we were going through. Uh, still in the Coupe de France. Jonathan David, eight goals. Cabela playing really well. Ishmaeli, those wing backs are key, I think, to this match engine. Give those a try. People, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you've noticed in the match engine, what you like, what you don't like. Please drop a like. Please subscribe. It means a lot. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll be back for the main game for San Giuliano, Serie C, hopefully to the top, possibly to we get a sacked save. Uh, let me know who you're going to be in the main game as well. And for me, Andrew, until next time, thanks for watching. Cheers.